It's not about motivation. Winners need discipline. Wake up and win today. Discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with boxer Callum Simpson. I just said to you there, shades of Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, apparently, apparently. You know, I think um, everyone always, I do that kind of stuff inspiring. And I, honestly, when I, when I spy, anyone will tell you that I'm very, very, very good. But, you know, it's different doing it in a fight and then doing it in a spy. And I feel like every fight I have now, the past few fights, I'm showing little bits, glimpses of how good I can be. And um, I keep saying, well, there's, there's so much more to come from me, so much more. You know, I'm by far the finished article, but, you know, I've got every fight stepping up, stepping up in, in, in levels and trying to just bring a little bit more to my game every time. Well, I've seen you do uh, try and throw like four or five left uppercuts before. And normally, like, one lands, maybe two, but like, all four or five were landing today. Did you see his head like flying back and forward? I've seen on a few highlights. I've seen on a few, I, think, I think I tried a few triple, triple left hooks, yeah. triple right hooks as well. I don't know how many landed, but, you know. At least I'm trying them now and you know, just about getting the range and getting the timing and you know, we'll, we'll get there. On paper that was like a fight to keep you busy but you obviously got a big puncher in there and you got the job done and that, that's the statement you wanted to make. You had Zach Chelis at ringside you know, on a bit of a spine mission. Uh, is that next? That is next. Up north as well. Up in Barnsley. That's, that's what I've been told. That's what we're trying to make happen. You know, my supporters, my fans, have, they've come down to London twice now, uh, my past two fights. They're, they're always travelling away, you know, a few, few hundred coming down and supporting me, so the least we can do is get one back up, up, up in Barnsley for them. Uh, when you say Barnsley, what, what venue are we talking about? The Metrodome? I don't know yet, I don't know, you know. It's a nice venue, that. Yeah, yeah no, I, I agree, I agree. Um, that has been mentioned, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. After that performance, I get something bigger, who knows? Yeah, if I'm just trying to think of the venues in Barnes. Obviously, the stadium. Uh, I'm not sure. Could this happen in the Barnes Stadium? Possibly, possibly. Like Could you sell that amount of tickets? I believe so. I believe so. Definitely. That's a lot of pressure on your shoulders. No pressure at all. Yeah. No pressure at all. Just, just tell me what your family's thinking about your development and you know your time with boxing. Now you've had what three, four fights under them, and just how do you feel like your profile's grown and just generally how how things are for you like in and out of the ring. You know, life, life's great, mate. I'm a, even before I signed a boxer, my life was good anyway. I always appreciate, you know, every day I wake up, and even now, like, just I've got, I've got an amazing family, amazing, amazing friends, amazing girlfriend, and just appreciate everything. And um, and, it, and now it's this is all this is just extra, you know. My, as long as my family's healthy, I'm healthy, you know, and I'm and I'm happy. Then that's all that matters. But this is all just extra, just just a just a bonus of everything, you know. And um, we walked out, but when, when I got here, um, got out there. We got dropped off and walked out to the arena before, or, you know, before it started filling up. I was looking around and I was like, wow, like, I'm going to be fighting here in a couple of hours and every one of my fans' support is going to come down. And my coach was saying, how do you feel? Do you feel excited? And I was like, not really, it's just more like, appreciation and like a big sense of pride and how far I've come. I just remember that little nine-year-old kid that started boxing and, you know, I lost my first fight when I was 10. I was crying my eyes out after it and just how far as a team we've come and as like my support base. and. Yeah, we're not even, this is only just a start as well. I've been saying that for a long time, but this is just a start. We're going to keep keep building big, big things to come. It's worth letting fans know, literally like two and a bit years ago, you was working in a shopping centre. And I'm not going, to, not going to mention the clothing brand you worked for. I'm not going to give them a free plug, but you yeah. was, was working in a clothing shop, like selling clothes, and now you're fighting in Sky Sports. Yeah, it wasn't even two, two and a half years ago. It was a... It was a year, yeah, about a year and six months ago. Yeah, about a year and six months ago, you know, I was working full time. Um, as well as training twi twice a day, working like 45 hours a week as well as training twice a day and I actually had my first championship fight while I was working full time and you know I, were, I went to the weigh-in, I went to work straight after the weigh-in and then I had my fight and I was back in work the day after on the Sunday and you know, you know think, think, things, have, things have changed and now looking, when I used to do it I used to think it, that was just my life but now looking back I just think how on earth, how did I do that, how, how did I do it and I, I, still, I still train I still train out of the most of the pros out there anyway, doing that. So yeah, anyone that anyone that works a full-time job, whether, whether, it's, whether it's sport or box, whatever you do, you can, you know, if you if you want it hard, if you want, if you want it enough, you, you, you find you find a way, you find a way to do it. Yeah, it's great to see your journey go this far. Uh, I just before I let you go, just a quick review of Fraser uh, Clark versus Fabio Wardley. Who won the fight in your opinion, and uh, uh, your reaction to that crazy, crazy dust-up? Firstly, what a fight! Unbelievable fight. Um, and I don't know, I wasn't really scoring it, I was, I was talking a little bit and then watching it, I was kind of watching as a fan, 
Yes. So I, I don't really know. I, th I think I think a draw is pro probably as well deserved. Um, but like I said, I, I didn't even see the knockdown. Um, I didn't see when a point got took off. But to me, I saw. I, saw, I think Ward they won the first few rounds, and then I saw Fraser going the second the second half. But yeah, from that. A draw, from what, I, from what I personally saw, a draw seemed fair, but I've heard people say Fraser, some say Ward or so, but like, I, from what I saw, the draw seemed fair, and I'd love to see that fight again. What a proper British title dust up. Are you and Chile going to be like that? I don't think it'll go the 12 rounds. It'll definitely not be a draw. I don't think it'll be going the 12 rounds. I know Zach really well, and the, the thing is, I think you're both really nice, humble kids. So uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how the kind of beef or the build up to this fight goes. Uh, so yeah, man. Uh, all the best, Callum, and I hopefully see you soon. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Win gold now. IPMB is giving away five 24 karat gold coins to our token holders worth over $2,000 each. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you very much for this uh, great news. It's amazing. It's never been easier to own gold, so join the raffle now. I've got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals. 